Hello everyone. About two weeks ago, my daughter Lorelei um, went to the hospital. She was admitted to the ICU and she had a rare viral infection called acute flaccid myelitis. Um, and I'll put the link in the description below. But it resulted in her left arm being paralyzed and her legs being extremely weakened and her core muscles being extremely weakened. Um, unfortunately, the, the success rate of uh, recovery for this illness is very low. Um, it's also a very rare condition. There have only been just over 100 or so cases of this here in the United States and a few more elsewhere in the world, but not much information is available for that. Um, but my daughter and I have decided that we're going to be extremely positive and we're going to be uh, we're going to be. We're going to build a prosthetic arm for her. We're going to 3D print a prosthetic arm, and we want to open source the the files and make sure everyone else can can use the prosthetic arm as well. Um, and we we're looking for help with this. Um, this is something that we haven't done before. Um, just the other day, we started to download. Uh, we had we've we've received some free software from Autodesk. Uh, 360, uh, which will allow us to design the the 3D the 3D images or the 3D designs for the for the arm. Um, but we'd love to have some help with this. Uh, we've just uh, we only just got home a couple of days back from the hospital, so we're all still getting used to the new way of life. Uh, Lorelei at the moment here is is um, is playing with stickers and she's she's practicing using her hands her. Her fingers are still um, able to, to move. Her arm is completely paralyzed and her, sh her shoulder is very, very, very weak. Um, so the prosthetic we, we're building is primarily going to help her use her elbow joint. Um, so it should be a relatively simple build. Uh, we'd like to use either a motor or an actuator to help the elbow joint move. And we want to use some electrodes to to switch on the actuator, to switch it on and off. There is some movement in her tricep and bicep, so we hope to be able to pick that up through an electrode and use those signals to, to activate and deactivate the, the actuator and the motors. Um, so it should be a, a relatively straightforward build, but we'd love everyone to, uh, if there's anyone that can help us, to help us. Um, that's essentially the first, the first build we wanna do is just the elbow joint. Uh, later on, we'd, we'd like to try the, the shoulder joint as well. But that one's going to be a little more complica complicated. Um, we're obviously also doing all of the, the usual treatments. Uh, we're going through physio physiotherapy. We've, I've been trained up on how to do that, so I'm going to be helping Lorelei. My wife is, and, and my three-year-old son is also going to be helping. Um, so we're all remaining really positive. Uh, Lorelai is super positive and she's su a super inspiration to, to all of us. Um, and we're going to be doing this in the summer. So the key to the design is we want to make sure that it's, it's really lightweight, it's very breathable, um, it's beautiful. We don't want some clunky 3D um, um, prosthetic arm. Um, and yeah, so, so that's the intention. If you have any experience uh, and want to help with this, I'd love to get your, your input. Uh, I've reached out to some of my friends on Facebook and they've provided us loads of information, so I've still got to digest all of that. Um, but we're, we're super positive and we'd love to, to have your help. Uh, again, this is, everything we do is, will, be, will be open sourced so that the plans and the, the designs can be used by anyone. Um, and we'd love, we'd love to have your help. So, thank you so much. All the best. Bye. 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 <laughs>